Welcome back people and so now my name is Tyler and today I'm going to show you guys a quick way that I like to use for importing my models from Maya into Unreal and it's going to, we're going to be using the FPX import. Uh, this model has already been UV'd and has a normal app on it and I will be showing you also how to import those as well. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to select the chicken and I'm going to go to export selection. I do this just because I do not want to select everything in the scene, especially like the cameras or the lighting if it's somewhere I can't get to. So it's just an easier way to uh, make sure you're only exporting chicken. So what we're going to do is we're going to name it. I've already made one in preparation for this. So I'm going to export selection. So now, uh, hard part's done. We're going to go to Unreal. We're going to go to imports. Also, I've already made a scene uh, so I'm going to have to go through all that. And so we're going to import the chicken. Just hit import all. Don't worry about this. So now we have our chicken. And all we have to do is drag him over. And also one other thing. I've, I've just added a folder for this. Just because I want to keep organized. And folders are the perfect way to do that. So now that we have our chicken out. Uh, the chicken is default by white. Just because it doesn't have a specifically set material to um, have. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell that material uh, what to draw and yeah. So we're going to click on the material. We're going to drag this up. We're going to drag uh, on. We're going to drag this one off. This is just the generic color that it gives. I'm just going to delete this one. Oops. And we're going to right click. We're going to hit texture sample. And what this does is it uh, enables the program to identify uh, the UV and communicate it to the chicken. So what we're going to do now is, uh, now that we have all that set up, we're going to import our uh, UVs and our uh, normal map. So we're going to hit import, we're going to import the normal map as well, just some future preparation. Uh, it's fine. Okay, so now we have both the UV and the normal map. So what we're going to do now is with this texture sample, we're going to actually uh, duplicate it. And here we go. Here's our second texture sample. Ready to go. We're going to both use these for the actual skin and then for the normal map. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the texture. All we're going to do is we're going to look for our chicken UV. So it's already there at the top, just to let you guys know. We're going to hit the chicken UV. And then also for this one, we're going to use this for the UV uh, normal map. So let's type in normal map. I've already named these. So now we have both of these, and we just have to plug them in. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag it off from the RGB into the base color. As you can see, it is already forming uh, the material from this. It's going to look odd like this just because it is showing it on a sphere, but it will look perfectly fine on the chicken. And we're going to take our normal map and plug it into the normal. And as you can see, it's already showing that uh, 3D effect, even though it really isn't. And it's just a flat image. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit save. <coughs> it's going to say packages. And so now our chicken has been uh, UV mapped and has a normal map on it. And you can do whatever you want with this chicken. So yeah, that's uh, that's the video. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys on the next video.